Oh, there I am. There I am. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Howdy, howdy. <laughs> it's kind of a different point of view. I'm actually looking straight at the camera tonight, the web camera. Oh. Whoa, my, uh, huh, for some reason, my perception of how my lighting in here looks is different when I see it on stream versus when I was setting it up. Maybe it's just because the OLED is more vivid, maybe. I, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know if I'm happy with this. Like what, what, what's, what's your take? I would, I've set up a bunch of these, uh, you know, Wi-Fi LED bulbs in here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it, it was a pain in the butt to get them all synced up. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, I don't know. Is, 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 is this, is this not the right effect? I don't know. It's just, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of purplish. I mean, it looks okay. Yeah. It didn't really look that way when I was previewing it. Yeah. No, it's, it's not that the white balance is off. It's, I have a bunch of led lights on like that are mostly blue. Oh, it's not showing blue really. It's showing, it's like pinkish purple. Yeah. It's, I mean, I can adjust Wait. the white balance even though like it's, you know, it's it's pretty normal, but that would that would in turn <laughs> affect that's, it. That's okay. We don't need to mess with it right now because we have we have other things to do. I guess we do. Uh, I didn't. It's not in the stream des descriptions. Uh, but try and I are going to eat. Thanks to our good friend uh, Sean Quinn, we're both going to be eating a single one of these guys. A little nitro. The the box is all my my box is all all bent up. I, uh, mine is mine is uh, perfect. It looks like yeah, I it just go. just came from the store. Uh, this comes to us via the uh, the flamethrower candy company. <laughs> Thank <laughs> thanks to uh, Sean Quinn. It says uh it says consumer beware. This is not your ordinary gummy bear. Uh, from flame from from flamethrower candy company comes the next experience for those who seek the heat. Lil Nitro has been infused with our signature nine million Scoville unit chili extract, making him nine hundred times hotter than a jalapeno pepper. <laughs> and it says, "Do you dare this fiery gummy bear?" <laughs> I feel that that is it's incorrect, an incorrect way to say that. I mean, it doesn't tell us, like, do you dare what? Eat this? Uh, but, it says, uh, warning, this product product is extremely spicy and has the potential to cause skin and or mouth irrita irritation. <laughs> it's intended what? for adults only and should be kept out of reach of children and pets. All nitro is not to be consumed by those with any heart or respiratory conditions. Consume at your own risk. <sighs> And uh, I mean, it says right, right straight up on the side. It just says it's like just says flammable. <laughs> Spontaneously combustible. Well, I, 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 I got to say, I am not a fan of spicy candy. Yes, like, I, I'm not I'm either. Not a, I'm not even a fan of like uh, of like. Uh, like, like Red Hots or any like yeah. cinnamon flavored candy. Well, when you open up the uh, the packaging, there's a little little thing in here. It's a little card. And it says, "Yeah, I looked at the card." The Little Nitro Challenge. We want you to make the best Little Nitro video on the internet. Post your video to YouTube with the hashtag Little Nitro Challenge for a chance to feature it in our website and social media platform. Fully chew this fiery gummy bear and see if you can handle the heat. Can you go a full five minutes without relief? Okay, so can somebody tweet a link to this live stream with the hashtag Lil Nitro Challenge? Oh, please. <laughs> it's just uh, Lil Nitro Challenge. I can. I don't know if you can really see it there. Maybe we can get oh, the... Oh, uh, weird. I, well, I'm a little afraid. Are we, are we going to try to do it? Are you going to start a timer so that we can 
eat this uh. thing. We have to fully chew it. <laughs> There's a two dollar donation from Mitch B saying, "Imagine, imagine dying because you had COVID and ate a gummy bear." <laughs> it sounds like a bad idea, but I mean. You know, it, it it took everything in my kids' power not to like eat this thing because my my son loves gummy bears and is you know his name is Montgomery and sometimes we call him Gummy. <laughs> uh, so I just it, it took like he's, everything. He's holding, I just noticed he's holding a stick of dynamite. Yeah. So hang on, it's, it's hashtag Lil Nitro Challenge. No, you stay away. You you stay away. It's gonna yeah, it's, it's not, Sandy that will not, kill you. This is not fun food. <laughs> All right, but but it's ready, funny because my kids were like, I I told them you know this is you don't you don't want to eat that like it's gonna be it's gonna be a big it's gonna be a lot of trouble and they and they started making up that how hot it was and they said you know I I smelled it and I could like feel the the heat. Uh, on my face. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think it's quite what you're expecting. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it is a single gummy bear. So, I mean, I don't know if, I don't know if I should be more scared because of that. I, I don't know. Like, I, I'm just scared because I don't like hot candy. And it's just, it, unlike the other hot things we've eaten, I don't think this is going to be pleasurable in any way. Yeah. Are you going to do this? I'm just going to eat it right after. I don't want to touch it. Yeah, I'm not going to touch I only, it. I only, I only want it to, it to touch my insides. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to do this? Yeah, sure. All right. Cheers. You, are we counting down? No, but we're, we, you want to, someone, someone want to make a time. Oh, geez, I can, it's, it does smell pretty gross. Uh, can someone, you know, make a five minute timer? Because I'm not going to eat or drink anything. We got to fully chew it though. Okay. Uh, as soon as I eat this, I, I will. I'll tell you about Pooty, Pooty, the uh, next door neighbor's dog. All right, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Oh gosh, it's hard. It's not. Yeah, it's hard, and it's like immediately hot. Yeah. <laughs> like immediately. Oh. <clears throat> you can't do it. You're. <laughs> I'm holding this water, or this, this milk. There it is. I swallowed it. I chewed it. I chewed it up. Whew. Yeah. That's uh, you know that that puts the other ones to shame. I gotta say. Ah. So, ah. Pooty, Pooty got a haircut. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Got 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 like shaved down, but has a has a mohawk. It's kind of awesome. Oh, uh, yeah. Whew, it, it, it's. Uh, uh. Damn. <laughs> Ooh, ah. I'm going to wash out and drink some milk. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Pooty is the ah. is the poodle who lives next door. Oh, I got a two dollar donation from Jonathan G. Holy cow! Uh uh. Oh. Yeah, this is. Uh uh. <laughs> no. Uh uh. This like kills the other ones. It is like a ma uh -uh. order of magnitude worse. I'm sweating. We got a uh, yeah, we got, we got uh, 50 MX, Ooh. which I assume is is a Mexican pesos, maybe. Well. Saying from a, from a Lunita Productions, saying imagine a multiverse. You guys are teaching each other things that is not video games, like my life and math, my life and doing taxes. That'd be cool. Uh, I'd probably be I mean 
probably, I don't know, it'd, it'd probably be <laughs> uh, better in terms of the overall income to the channel. I mean, just in, like educating people. Holy cow, this is like, I can't even speak barely. I've seen, I, I've heard some donations. Whew. I mean, this is getting me. Yeah. That's not this good. is. Let me go to uh, Streamlabs Ooh. to make sure that I'm not I'm not missing anything because whole oh my gosh. Oh, oh. I mean, you were the one that was nervous about the other ones. I know. You took them like a champ. Ooh. <sighs> Holy cow. Ugh. I'm trying. I'm just trying to keep it going. I'm just log. I'm logging in the Streamlabs. Keep my mind oh. elsewhere. Boy, let me tell you, I regret that. Almost immediately. That yeah, th three dollars from show. Thank you. Whew. I mean, I've been able to be be pretty cool the previous ones, but holy cow! There's huh? a, a, a two dollars from Vanessa saying, "Pooty, pooty." Uh. And a two dollars from Jonathan G saying this is gonna get ugly. <sighs> oh, yeah, it's it's not. I good. just I just realized you can you can see uh my the 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 custom made pillow in in the background. I don't know. Is this like even appropriate? I guess well, I can talk about it. it. So. Years ago, years ago, it's like I think it was before we got married. It sounds a little familiar. Uh, well, I'm gonna get more milk. It was like it was a there was a my wife went on a trip. I think it was when she went to uh, visit some friends in Norway, and it was just like my first time being being at home, uh, like in our apartment, like by myself. And like after a while, you get used to like sleeping next to somebody. So. I like <clears throat> I slept very poorly during that time. Let me is it has it been five minutes yet? I gotta I gotta you gotta wait until it's been five minutes. We're we're doing the, the challenge. Anyways. After she came back, I was like, man, I did, like I didn't sleep well because it's just like weird being in like there by you myself. Said five minutes are done. And it was funny because like after that, my wife took that and she like found pictures of us and then put pictures of each other like on on a pillow so uh this is just like this is my pillow with my wife on it <laughs> i realized that you know it's like it's like she's just like hanging out in the background down here in the basement it's a pillow <laughs> so it's, a, it's a it's a it's a pillow with my wife on it i think it's the first time she's <laughs> ever been really seen in in the stream but it's just it's kind of funny. <laughs> that is kind of funny. <laughs> All right. So it's like it's it's not as bad anymore. Like I haven't gotten over it. I I mean, really? I'm, I'm sweaty. My I mean my. Ah, uh, I do feel better now. All right. So I can I can drink now. I've 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 succeeded at the little nitro challenge. Oh. No, thank you. I, I I feel no regrets at not uh at at at, at, at wussing out. I'm drinking it out of my uh my Southern Tier Brewing Company pint glass. Ugh, that was not fun, Sandy. Like unlike the other ones, like that one was immediate. Mm hmm. Like it's with like... the with the uh <laughs> it's a two dollar donation from Jonathan G saying uh we we have to see your your my pillow. Uh, <laughs> I think my pillow is upstairs somewhere. I think it might be in in, in my daughter's room right now. <laughs> John Smoltz hopes neither of us are lactose intolerant. Uh there was a no, I'm good. A, a two dollar donation from uh from for love of the game saying how many Scovilles are in these gummies? Like seven point two. Uh, I think it says uh Ugh. nine million. 
<sighs> Gaming Blow says, eat a hot thing every episode. This is great. Ah, well, disagree. we'll see. Oh, man. Disagree. Sean, Sean Quinn has mm. seemed disappointed in how, uh, you say, how easily we've taken to his challenges before, but... Uh, uh, Luca, I have a, I have an empty bottle of uh, the Southern Tier Ugh, smoke I bourbon. I myself defeated whiskey. on that one with a with a mega man hanging from it now that I got in Japan. Whew. Yikes! Ugh. Whew, man, we did it. We just we survived. Yes, fours on. Uh, who's ready for some clockwork night? <laughs> ah, so how many I countries have you been to? Huh? Connor Terry asked, "How many countries have you been to?" Uh, not many. Like I've been to you've been the United that. States, of course, Canada, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, and Japan. I've just been to uh, Canada, Mexico, and Japan. What can I say? Oh, you've been to Mexico? Yeah, I went to uh, went to Mexico for uh, my honeymoon. Didn't you go somewhere in the Caribbean, or was that Puerto Rico? Uh, I went to yeah, I went to Puerto Rico, but uh, okay. that doesn't really count. I'm gonna drink some uh, some oh. water too. Now my belly's just full of milk. Uh, uh, so I'm going to be playing this on the on the uh, the Terra Onion mode. So if we get sick of, of playing this, then uh, we can play something else because the the S SSD in this thing is like packed to the gills. I can't. I probably couldn't put. I couldn't fit anything else on it. Whew. Whew. $2 donation from show say no, it's to come out the other Whew. side. Yes, I know. I I hope that comes much later than the beef jerky did. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we had, there was a lot of beef jerky. Beef jerky did. I'll just say that. Yeah. That was... Uh... Eating the beef jerky was uh, pleasant enough. Yeah. Dealing with the aftermath was not. All right. So we'll see how, how this goes. The pain is mostly gone. This was so different because it was all in the mouth. It wasn't in the throat. Everything else was mostly in the throat or more the back yeah. of the mouth. This is no. all like front of the mouth. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it's it's I feel inside my cheeks. <laughs> I'm gonna be probably feeling the other cheeks at some point in the next 24 hours too. Oh, nine 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 for Sean Quinn. Great job, guys. You did it. Well, Corey did it. You you beat me. You beat me, Sean. It's funny because I've I've been thinking a lot lately about how I think because of these these hot challenges that that, that Sean Quinn has been putting us through, my I've been becoming more and more I've been finding that I enjoy uh hot things more and more than I had before. But also like it's kind of just making me realize that like, hey, I actually do like hot things. I never really thought about it. <laughs> to quite the extent I'm trying to yeah, I mean I feel like I feel like spicy adds adds a lot to 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 a lot of foods right you know? oh we got two dollars from MK Iron Fist saying ever grumpy that Saturn only got its due in Japan yeah you might say that because I mean, I just, I mean, I, I don't have a lot of Saturn games for a lot of reasons. Some of those reasons being they're very expensive here, but also a lot of the really good stuff only came out in Japan. And, you know, 
Uh, but aside from just the games, uh, I kind of feel like uh, I, I, I'm kind of grumpy that Japan got the better uh, the better color schemes and the better uh, logo, like by far. Like the American logo is so lame in comparison. See, I don't think, that, for some reason, the game is not showing at 60 frames per second, and I don't know why it's doing that. This has been happening recently. I, I might have to get get the uh, the, the stream professor, Mr. Epos Fox, on, on the phone at some point. Mm. So, sorry that the game is only at 30 frames per second, I guess, tonight. So this is a 60 frames per second game? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I just wasn't sure because, you know, it's got like all these 3D elements and stuff, you know? And it's early, early. Yeah, it's a, it's a launch game in the US. Whoa. Uh, there's a, uh, there's a, um, where is it? There's a $2 donation from Dustin Kramer saying, favorite hot sauce. Ah, uh, oof. I don't know. I don't know if I really have a favorite one. You know, like like name brands. I mean, I'm a big I'm a big fan of the 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 Frank's hot sauce. Yeah, I like I, mean, I like to put know, it on eggs. Generically, I really like buffalo sauce uh, and curry. Oh, ow! Crazy pepper chow. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> you alright? Yeah. <laughs> Just got feel wore out. <laughs> <laughs> well. I'm just trying to make this this the uh, You know, I've never like had sriracha sauce that like really was like oh yeah that's that's the stuff <laughs> like i mean it's 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 good but i don't know i feel like whenever i have it i'm like eh, you know i like chipotle sauce or something like that better i mean i like it but I don't love it, I guess. It's, it, it feels kind of awkward to to control a little bit, but it's it's not too bad. I think I've I'm sure I've played this before, but I don't remember how it controls. Because I've got um, I've got I've got a demo disc that has it on it. Uh, are you talking just like a, like a Bloody Mary, like the, like, like the drink? Like, like tomato sauce and, or not tomato sauce, uh, tomato juice and, uh, vodka and stuff? Sal's Birdland Wing Sauce. Not familiar. Because I love Bloody Marys. Oh, I died. Oh yeah, I mean, they're... When I lived in New York, there was this one place that I used to love going to. On, on weekends, they, 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 I don't know, they are definitely not around anymore, but they used to do like all you could, all you could drink, or like endless Bloody Marys with, uh, with brunch. Essentially, if you went to that, your, you know, your whole day was done. Ah, uh, it was uh, it's called the sunburnt cow. Sunburnt cow. Yep. It's like Avenue B, I think, or Avenue C.
Ah, Paul Sun, indeed that was. There was always there was always a long wait to get in. But naturally, I mean, I stopped going when I once I had kids because I would. <laughs> you don't want to like you don't have an opportunity to to day drink away when uh, once once you have kids. Uh, Sean, Sean Quinn says this hot sauce he's talking about is made with orange juice. Huh. Kind of sounds like, uh, you know, how how Cincinnati chili has the unexpected ingredient of chocolate in, in it, you know? You'll necessarily taste yeah, it. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, I, most people is, just taste you know? the, uh, I mean, the cinnamon is like the main thing. I have no idea how long this this game is. I mean, I, I don't even think that there is a like a save system in it, so it can't be super long. Yeah, there's a lot of Saturn games like that. I don't, especially early on. I don't have very many uh, PlayStation games like that that have no save option. The only one I can think of off the top of my head that I've got is uh, Gunner's Heaven. Oh, it's only like 30 minutes long. How many levels is it? Really? Oh. I mean, as far as I know, the uh, the sequel is, is is supposed to be very good as well. I mean, this, this boss is kind of creepy looking. Oh, is this, <laughs> is, is this another Sonic 3 and Knuckles situation? What? Uh, for love, the game says it's half the game was supposed to be Clockwork Knight 2 is literally the second half. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Ethan Boley is asking, "What kind of what kind of bean bag, bag chair do you use? Do you usually do you use that that much anymore?" Uh, Sandy does. <laughs> she uh, she loves it. She uh, she does a flying leap onto it. <clears throat> it. It's like part of her her play routine. Like whenever you know. You know, she I throw a toy and she gets it, and then she kind of like tries to run away from me with the toy and she always like does a, a, a loop around the house and then at the end she does this flying belly flop onto the bean bag which is in my bedroom <laughs> I'm, I, I think it's this one I'm usually pretty good at these but I wasn't expecting these to fly around as much as it did no yeah, I wonder I wonder if I can my dog loves it as the best backhanded Amazon review. I've had that beanbag chair a long, long time though. Uh, because actually my 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 first dog was alive when when uh when I got it. Because that was got it in probably two thousand four. Yeah, I think two thousand four. What happens if... <sighs> Oops. <clears throat> as soon as I... As soon as I accidentally zoomed in on myself, I, I had a... A little bit... A bit of little nitro come up. <laughs> oh, coward. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. 
Uh, let me, let me, I can, I can adjust you here if you want me to. Well, well no, 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 you, no, 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 okay, you're, you're messing with it, okay. I, I'm, yeah, I'm messing with it. Um, you know, I, uh, I set it, I set, um, I set up my, uh, uh actually, it looks kind of awesome with the wall of stuff yeah. behind me, even though it's just like towering above me there. <laughs> Yeah, some people have bought some, been buying T-shirts lately. It's. Oh. I wish I wish that we had something else to. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Well, how do I get out of here now? Oh. Did I get just like get stuck that here? That window looks like it could be something. Uh. But not very many people have, have shirts. I, but I wish that there was, like, other shirts. Because we don't, I mean, I have no idea what we would put on a shirt. That's that's the main thing that we've struggled with. You know, I've seen a lot of people say in this game kind of sucks. And, like, I've, I've generally heard people say they like it. A two dollar donation from for love of the game, asking, uh, "Who do you prefer? Who did you prefer, Roll Casket or or uh, Trombon?" Uh, if I had finished either one of them, I would be able to answer. I know that Tri has finished them all, so he can he can probably answer. He can probably answer better than I can. Although, I mean, I do want to do. I do really want to play play them. I have I have both Legends one and two. But I don't have Trombon, but that's, I mean, it's okay. It's un understandable. Uh, any chance for a polo with the Emlick logo on the breast? Uh, maybe. I mean, if that's an option, I can look into it. I mean, I, we're, we're just, like, limited to what Teespring has available. I've thought about, like, looking into if there's a way to use other suppliers. Yeah, move, move, the, uh, move the camera so that you can see the beam button. Okay, well, um, see, yeah. Sandy does, she doesn't like lay on it, uh, like normally, but she play is part of her play. <laughs> Oh, I should have moved it up a little bit. Let me see if I can get her rolled up to do a flying leap on to it. I'll I'll see if there's a if there's a a polo option. Wow. Hmm. Does this game have unlimited continues? Does anybody know? We've got the entire game library the last 50 years available. And when we pick is Clockwork Knight. Well, you know. <clears throat> it's, it's something different every week. I think as little as we've repeated anything on our stream is... is that's pretty pretty impressive, really. <clears throat> what was um? <gasps> what was the question earlier about um? That if you prefer trombone or uh, a roll casket. 
Oh. Uh, but there's there was also a uh, five dollar donation from uh, from hang on, I scrolled up from Christopher Miller saying uh, Sandy is better than than Poochie. I, I assume you're you mean Poochie from mm. or Poochie or, is it is it from from Yoshi's Island or are you talking about uh, Pooty? Because you can I mean I don't know I don't know Pooty well enough, but I mean but Sandy doesn't have a mohawk, so <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh, this this is Saturn exclusive, as far as I know. I don't think it was ever ported to anything else. Both of them. Oh, look at it. Oh, yeah, look I at that robot in the back. Huh? I thought I was already on the widest field of view. But I wasn't. <laughs> oh. ah. I, thought I, I thought I was done for for a second there. Oh, I'm not gonna. I gotta. I use my run more. Uh, the sequel is also on the Saturn. What is it called? Pepper Chow's Adventure. Pepper Chow. I think that's what his name is. It's like Pepper Chow. Oh. Oh, we got Jimmy Hoppa in the chat. Oh, hey. Wait, what is, what's he saying? He's, he's saying something about the Japanese version of this. Uh, hang on, I'm, I'm messing around with my webcam. Uh, it was advertised as a 64-bit super action game on Japanese TV. What? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that don't make no sense, Sandy. It don't make no sense. Uh, but there's a two dollar donation from Dustin Kramer asking if a game has ever made us cry. Has any game ever made you cry? I've been I've been really sad when a game has ended. It doesn't happen that often these days. <clears throat> but I mean, I remember like when, the first time I ever finished Lunar the Silver Star, and like I didn't want to play anything for for like a week or two after because <laughs> it was one of those games where I just like I did not want it to end this thing is kind of awesome I mean the first time a game made me tear up was uh, was Metal Gear Solid 2 oh yeah you said that like uh, when the I'm assuming I'm trying to get him to go off the back here. Most, most recently, the most recent time a game made me tear up was uh, there's this scene like kind of in like I don't know like the first quarter oh. of The Last of Us Part Two. That's like this flashback scene. I won't say anything about it, but like it's just like so overwhelmingly like intensely happy and feel good <laughs> that it kind of made me tear up <laughs> uh, Jimmy's heading out I guess well, thanks for stopping in it's uh what uh, 11 o'clock over there I think I thought I had to knock him off the edge, but maybe I don't. Yeah, that's it, Henry.
the noise it makes when he throws that boomerang where it's like, like whoo! It's just hilarious. This is on the mode. Yes. Yeah, Vanessa, I I think I I think I probably teared up at that part too. What? Like Ko Ko Kojima has a way of getting to me for some reason, you know. I'm sure a lot of people think his his brand of drama is stupid, but it it works for me. We <laughs> 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 got a dollar nine nine from Chris. Theron, thank you. Hope I pronounced that okay enough. Saying this stream is yabba dabba delightful. <laughs> <laughs> oh thank you. man, my my belly doesn't feel yabba dabba delightful right now. After drinking, I'm doing okay. Like I'm doing right. Two and a half glasses of milk and a little nitro in there. He's just swimming around. <laughs> Hopefully that milk does something to neutralize him, you know, before. See, pep pe Pepper, Pepper Ochao, I'm pleased to see you. How many <laughs> coins will you wager? I bet 15. Pepper Ochao is like the most overwrought name possible. I lost it. I, I'm usually pretty good at these. I'm gonna bl I'll blame it on Little Nitro. Uh, Jonathan G, have I ever played through an RPG entirely in Japanese? Funny you should ask, because yesterday I beat Dragon Quest X. Uh, although I had help with understanding the story, I've, I, I like the past three-ish months started studying Japanese and it's it's fun uh, but like I can't really make sense of a lot of anything but like you know what I've learned so far was useful for Dragon Quest 10 in the sense of like uh, just being able to read you know the sounds of hiragana and katakana is useful for uh, like identifying like place names or monster names. So if I need to go to a certain place or uh, fight a certain monster, like I can see on my map, like, oh, okay, that's this place here, uh, you know. But I, I had I had a friend on Discord uh, that I was playing through the game with and, you know, she translated the story for me. Uh, because she's an actual translator, so <laughs> you know, so we 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 committed to playing through that game, and we're gonna continue to play through. I, I just subscribed for a month to start with, and we got through the main story or the the version one story. Um, uh, and you know, there there's five, there's well, four expansions, I guess you could say. There's version one through five they don't seem to get I, I don't know if they actually have like titles for the for the expansions but they seem to just be called version one two three four and five um, so it's the same it's funny because that's like that's actually my like combination of my my luggage <laughs> oh hey Lynn Lynn is in the chat here oh. <laughs> Yeah, Lynn, Lynn provide free Japanese translation. I should be very honored. <laughs> Dang, it's like, why is this slippery? There's no re reason that this stuff should be slippery. Uh, how is the 3DS Dragon Quest 8 port versus original PS2? I've I've not well, I I got uh, the yeah. 3DS version sometime just because I felt. Because it was on clearance and I felt like I needed it for my collection, but it's like not a version of the game I'm terribly excited about. 
I mean, I, I always like kind of feel uneasy about stuff that's added to RPGs for like, you know, well after the original release because it never feels like it fits in. And, I, you know, having not played Dragon Quest Eight on 3DS, I couldn't say for sure uh, how that content feels. Why would it do that? But, it's... like, I know that there's, like, uh, more party members. And, like, like, I kind of feel like the four-person dynamic was kind of part of that game to me. Like, you know, there are only ever four party members. That's all the people you ever get. And I don't know. I kind of feel weird about them adding more playable characters. Kind of like what they did with like Wild Arms Ultra Code F. Like it was all about those three characters. And then they, they let, you know, other NPCs who had been characters, just regular NPCs previously. Now they join the party. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm making some good progress in Dragon Quest XI, which I'm, you are. I'm, I'm it enjoying. Sounds like you got to Act 2 finally. Yeah. I mean, it's taken me a little while. Uh, there was there was uh, a donation that popped up on stream from uh, Jonathan from... Pinson, but it's not in the chat. Do you have? The... Uh, said uh, thoughts on the LibRetro hack. Hacker blanked their retro arc uh, GitHub re repositories and crippled their uh, build bot servers. No cores available for download. Their latest backup is from two months ago. I heard a little bit about that. I didn't really look too much into it, though. I just I saw something about it this morning on Twitter, but that was all the time I spent on Twitter today. So I didn't I didn't see anything else beyond that. But that's crazy. I mean, I heard that. Yeah, it was all like deleted and stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, wonder I, who would. I'm hoping do it's not going to be too hard for them to restore it all. But yeah, I didn't I didn't hear a lot about it either. But I mean, that's. I make. I wonder if they can do anything with. Uh, like if anybody else had, would have a backup or they could do it just from like people's installs that have already that has you know they have the material on hand or something like uh, that but i mean you know it can't just be the install because it's got to be like source code and stuff right yeah that's that's pretty crazy i mean it seems like such a mean-spirited thing to do i know i mean I, th th there's from what I've heard, there's a lot of like infighting and stuff in like the emulator dev scene. I don't I don't know how accurate that is necessarily, but or if that's an unfair characterization, but uh, like it it just seems like a lot of people are like all like against how you know oh i i you know we, we don't like how these people are doing it you know right then those people don't like how they're doing it you know what's your favorite ps3 game probably uncharted 2 for both of us I yeah would i mean that's a pretty good one Yes, and I, of course, I, I, there's tons of multi-platform stuff that Jen and I played on PS, uh, PS3 as well. I mean, I know it's not exactly the most popular game in the series, but I freaking love Resident Evil 5. Oh, we got we got five dollars from EB Chili too. Thank you. Saying what's a must buy on the eShop before it's done. Uh, which eShop are you referring to specifically? Um, I mean, you know, I wouldn't say that I've got as much experience with, like, the current eShops compared to, like, the, uh, the Wii, um, uh, like, you know, the, the Wii right. Wear or the virtual console on the Wii. Um, uh... Well, I mean, certainly on 3DS, um, you know, you've got the Phoenix Wright 5 and 6, you know, which never got physical releases for um, North America. So I would say those are probably, to me, the most important. Um, but it looks like he's referring to Wii U. You know, I did not buy very many. Yeah. Um, I mean, download games for the Wii. I'd have to look at what I have in my system, but I, I mean, I think that there's, there's not a lot. I mean, most of the stuff I that mean, I, that I feel is, games, physical copies 
Yeah, like uh, like DuckTales Remastered got is something I would think of. But that got a physical release. Yeah. Um, Mighty Switch Force uh, Hyperdrive Edition. Right, right. But I mean, that's getting... I believe a Wii U exclusive. I think. I don't think there was another version of that. Uh, up until just recently, you know, there was the Mighty Switch Force Collection. That includes the Hyperdrive Edition. But that, that was... Now, that was a download exclusive for a long time on the Wii U, but uh, that's not the case I anymore. Know, I got there. Now look out for that chili sauce down there. Hmm. A little nitro sauce down there. <laughs> now, now people are panicking uh, over the Wii U eShop going away. I, I, I assume that comment wasn't based on on any known information <laughs> i i haven't heard anything yeah i mean i can't think of how do i get back there can i walk it i mean I, you this know this I level think... is so annoying because it's just like slippery because hey metal i guess is slippery can i hit the pass i i, I mean i hope it's a long time before that sh e shop goes away because i mean the closure of digital storefronts, I just think, is a huge misstep for, for any company. I mean, I know it's inevitable, but, like, every time one of those closes, you're just losing more and more faith in the longevity of your current services, you know? That's true. There's a lot of Turbo Graphics games on the Wii U that, like, almost all, or maybe they all, came out after the Switch was already out, which is kind of weird. But I wonder if there's any of those that aren't on the Turbo Graphics movie. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if all every single one of those is on the Turbo Graphics. Movie. Oh, we, I don't know. Wii U eShop closed in 42 countries on July 31st. Really. Wow. Oh, come on. That's horrible. How many levels is, is this game supposed to be? I don't know. Uh, I mean, DSi... Like, the only thing I can think of that it hasn't been ported anywhere that I really liked was uh, Dark Void Zero. Well, DSi also has Mighty Flip Champs, which I'm right. a huge, huge fan of. There's a and PSP version of that, too. There though. is a PSP version, but I don't like it yeah, very much same. because the flipping the screen horizontally does not work nearly as well as vertically. Um, and there's also, you know, uh, Mighty M Mighty Milky Way, which I, I didn't it's, like. It's not nearly as good. Um, but, you know, it is notable, I guess. I mean, Shantae Risky's Revenge, I mean, that's been poured many places, but it was originally a DSI work. Such a uh, weird... Warren Hookie donated five dollars. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Saying, does Earthbound still hold up today? I've never played it and see it's on uh, new Nintendo 3DS SNES VC. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I have not uh, played through it in a really long time. It's I mean, been I've a only really long played time through it one too. time. And that was like probably like early 2000s. And to be honest, I like got stuck on the final boss and never actually finished it until several years later. Um, I would like to replay it, but I mean, I, you know, Earthbound is still a wildly, wildly, wildly beloved game. Uh, and I think I, I'm under the impression that a lot of that love is not just from old folks. Like, I think it's younger people discovering it too. So. I would, I would definitely say I'm sure it holds up. I mean, it, it's a very basic sort of 
RPG, you know, with sort of a Dragon Quest-like battle system, except, you know, it's kind of goofy and offbeat. Of course, Dragon Quest is too, but it's like, it's kind of like a modern Man, Dragon Quest, stupid. I guess. <laughs> a modern day Dragon Quest in a way. Bosses in this game have the, the, the weirdest patterns. I barely know what to make out of them. Any GameCube games you'd love to see get the remaster treatment? Uh, I mean, you know, there's all the rumors about, uh, you know, the three a 3D Mario compilation for Switch. So obviously, Sunshine would be nice to see. Make it uh, actually. We've already got Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Although I would like to see those versions come to the Switch. Yeah, I hope I hope that they do. Um, yeah, I hope so too. Um, yeah, tw Twin else. Snakes. I mean, oh, I mean I obviously Metroid Prime trilogy. I'd love to see. Get yeah. Um, people have been talking about Killer Seven recently. Um, you know, the Pikmin games would be great. I still like Pikmin One the best, so I'd love to see. I'd love to see that. Come on, please don't be my last life. Oh, cool. So you actually you buy continues with your coins. That's oh. that's cool. Well, keep collecting. You have to then. start the level over though. I gotta do the whole thing over again. It's looking like it. Oh yeah, Eternal Darkness would be interesting. I mean, who even owns the rights to that at this point though? I feel like that's it's probably got some murky ownership <clears throat> it'd be nice to see see a hd version of chibi robo just because i kind of regret selling the gamecube version <laughs> <laughs> Huh. The what? game came out on Steam last week called Eternal Darkness. Is I, very I much heard about that. Game game. That's funny. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, the, uh, yes. The Nessarius got it. The obvious one is F-Zero GM. It's like... Yeah. That, that game... Like, I mean, we've said it before, and I think this is something people often say is like, as much as people want a new F-Zero game, like, we'd probably be equally as happy with... HD remake of GS. 100 Because it's already a perfect game. Yeah. It just needs uh, it needs um, easier difficulty modes for the story mode. Aside from that, it's like it's it's already a perfect game. Yeah, Super Monkey Ball one and two. That'd be nice to see. It really it really only needs to be one. It really only needs to be one, but you know they'd probably do both. But yeah. The second game is, I, I, I like to think the second game is a showpiece for the GameCube. I mean, it's, you know, How it's even get that? very impressive game, you know, 60 frames per second, widescreen, 480p, very sharp and crisp looking. Oh, uh, Paper Mario, a thousand year door. I'd oh, yeah, yeah. That would be very is... nice. <sighs> Sometimes when I swallow, I can feel this uh, little nitro. I, I I don't feel it in my mouth anymore. My my stomach feels a little full, but I think that's mostly the milk. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel just a little like. Bleh, right now. Oh, beautiful Joe remastered. That would be oh. Yeah.
And that really only needs to be the first one. It's, come on. <laughs> I really hate the slipperiness on this level. It just, it just feels unnatural. I can't, I can't do it. I mean, I'd like for it to be both. I mean, I played the second one and I don't, I don't remember disliking it. I remember it was a lot easier than the first because the first time I played Beautiful Joe, I got, I got really stuck on, you know, the default adults mode. It's a, it's a tough game. Yeah. And later on, I replay, I restarted on kids mode, which, you know, I didn't feel was unchallenging. And then I continued Beautiful Joe. I think I played them when I like went back to beat the first one. I think I played them back to back. But then, like, Beautiful Joe 2 was so much easier on kids mode than the first game. Well, then later I went back and replayed one on adults, but I have not gone back to replay two on adult. I thought I was done for there. <laughs> Paul Sutton, that's exactly what I would say. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> For the love of the game, donated two dollars. Thank you. Same beautiful Joe remastered, but it's Red Hot Rumble. I've never played Red Hot Rumble, but I, I, I'm under the impression it's the beautiful Joe game. No one really asked for. I did it. Finally, I got that. I didn't, didn't even understand what I was supposed to be doing before, but I get it now. I, I kind of have a soft spot for the 3DS beautiful Joe. With, with, of what one? The 3DS Beautiful Joe. Oh, um, I didn't. I'm trying to think what it's called. I, I, I've i got it. Double Trouble, I think. Hmm. Something like that. Um, it, uh, it's, it's very clever. It, the, like, I feel like the, the new, uh, the new special effect moves that they added, you know, they take into account like the touch screen and the dual screens. Like, you know, a lot of people might think they're gimmicky, but I thought they were pretty cleverly done and they worked well. But I seem to remember like the, the game not being particularly amazing outside of just the fact that the, you know, the dual screen element was implemented well. I don't even understand why those bosses that hard. It's just like the, the pattern of it feels like so weird. Yeah, yeah DS Beautiful Joe, that, that might have been the game that like it's made me running. okay with using my finger on 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 the touch screen. And then once I got over that, I'm like, oh, okay, using my finger on the screen isn't exactly ruining the screen or anything. This, this I, this is really obnoxious to me. I, it's just, it feels like I'm not doing any damage to him. But at the same time. It's just like the slipperiness is super obnoxious. Well, $2 from Zachary Mays. Thank you. Saying, I would love to see an Eternal Darkness remaster. Me too. That, that would be such an interesting thing to see. Because I, I think it would be probably... Visually rather reworked, I would imagine. Oh yeah, Rogue Squadron. Especially Rogue Leader, that would be amazing. Yeah, well they were supposed to do that a long time ago, and then they... 
And I canceled it. This is... I guess the key is to not run. So this area is slippery too? Yes, I there's and there's no reason for it to be slippery. I don't really understand it. <sighs> I don't even know no, why it's like have played the GameCube Warrior where mostly just because as far as I knew it was just you know, I had some new added multiplayer things that you know, I wasn't playing a lot of multiplayer stuff in the GameCube today, unfortunately, not compared to N64. Uh, and so I kind of skipped out on it because it sounded like otherwise it was just an emulation of the, the GBA game, which I love. I mean, it's one of my absolute favorite GBA games. I'll do it this way. Stop. What was Cory and Tri's biggest rage moments in any video game? Well, my, my, mine is, mine is easy. I, I've told the story before, but um, the final form or really like the final phase of the final form of the final boss in Rogue Galaxy uh, on PS2. I was I was using a um, a wire one of those wireless Logitech controllers. This is, uh, well, it's going to be a, right now with this stupid thing. <laughs> um, and. I went from like from the final place that you could save your game. Let's play something else. Up to that final phase of the final form of the final battle took like an hour. And I did it like three times and died the same way every time. And I just uh, threw my controller and it just flung way off like to my right for some reason. It just like the way it ricocheted, it like flung way over to the right several yards. And uh, <laughs> yeah. and that, that is easily the angriest I've ever been at a game because the final form, like it does this thing where you have to like do this perfect block. And like up to that point, the game had never really demanded that much blocking from you. So I really had no incentive to particularly learn it. So I threw it, and also, holy crap, Paul sucked. <laughs> I was going to say. For $49.99, what are you doing, man? Can't stop till you beat it. I Well, you know, I'd already gone back to the menu. If Paul if Paul can choose the next game if he wants to. Is it... Oh. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you want to choose a different game, or do you want me to play? You rage quit. Well, now we get to see the mode menu. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen this before. See, and this is how you can tell that it's not 60 frames per second because you don't see the bob the interlacing or anything right now. Uh, okay, oh. so you, should I go through the menu a little bit? I don't. <laughs> Thank you, Vol, for that. I mean, if you if you if you can think, if you want me to play a Saturn game, I can do it, or I can go back or Clock <laughs> Clock for Night too. <laughs> uh, so the various options on here, uh, I haven't really messed around with it too much, but it's it's pretty straightforward. You know, you can. There is a way to uh, have it so that it shows covers for the games, which is pretty cool. Uh, but I prefer the list because the cover, uh, I guess it runs really slow. I haven't done it yet, though. Uh, you can, I assume fast boot is so that it can, it does not uh, show the, the Saturn startup. Uh, disable lid switch is so you can have the entire top off of your Saturn if you want to. Mm. Um, soft. Oh, I see. Here we go. So you play. I, did, I didn't hit. Dynamite Deca. 
Uh, I don't. I don't want to play that one because that one switches resolutions like crazy. Oh, that's it, it, right. It drops sync you like every scene. Um, I should put this off reboot. I did not have that on there for some reason. One of the things that I really like about it, and this is just us being silly. Oh, I oops. I don't have any. I forgot to go back. Here we go. Uh, I like that you can have the micro SD and an SSD in there if you want to. And what I'm do what I do is I put all the games that I I own on the uh, S on the the um the micro SD. So I can just go into that and say like, hey, you know, here's here's here's, here's my game collection. So it, it kind of separates it if you, if you want to, if you want to do it that way. And Paul is thinking of something not horrible, but not super obvious. Okay. So I mean, that's 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 kind of cool, and I I like that there's. I, um, the translations, fan translations work really well on here. You know, I have not tried, and what might, might be kind of fun to try is that uh, that hack of Symphony of the Night that uses the 4 meg cartridge. Oh. Did you hear about that? that I can't remember if I heard something like that or not. Uh, let's, it's, I, I feel like I heard something about Saturn Symphony recently, but I can't remember. But does it correct the artwork? Well, I mean, there's nothing you can do about that. But I mean, it just runs a lot better using the four mm -hmm. megram cart. I mean, I did. I didn't didn't finish. I kind of quit just because I didn't want to. Uh, I thought I'd explore the mode a little bit more. Uh, right here, this is. On here, on the, the uh, SD card is what I own. But if you go to the SSD, then this thing is packed with almost, I mean, it, it's, it's packed with 500 gigs of stuff, <laughs> which is like the, the complete uh, uh, US library and uh, most Japanese things. I mean, there's a lot of Japanese stuff on here. Like, there's, there's just, there's a lot more Japanese stuff than I was expecting. But I mean, I kind of feel like it should be called the Modi. -E. Oh, with two of them on there? It's no, like the... I mean like Modi -E because I, because like I every once in a while I forget. Like, why is it called Mode? And then I remember, oh, multi optical drive emulator. But everyone calls them just ODEs, so if mm -hmm. you called it the MoDE, uh, it would be easier to remember what it is. Translations, there's the Suku, 120%, Dragon Force 2, Grandia, Langrisser 3, Link of Liver Story, uh, Ninpin Maru, uh, Men Maru, I don't know what that is. I have that on there twice, I guess. Uh, Police Knots. I'm going to go to the bathroom while you're figuring out what we're going right. to do. Uh, Princess Crown. Oh, that'd be interesting. Uh, Sakura Wars, Vampire Savior. Uh, Police Nuts would be a lot of fun, but I mean that's more of a story based thing, and it wouldn't be as as fun for a stream. I don't think. Um. <laughs> the Playboy Karaoke Collection. Uh, let's see. How about if I just pick something you can think about it? Uh, I can do, I'll do elevator action returns. I can get into that. Where is it? There it is. Elevator action two returns. <laughs> We'll do this for a little bit and we'll when you think of something else then we'll do that oh did he play something they they got him they get him it got him banned or just 
taken offline. I think I'm, I'm going to pick a cart, cart, cart Bradfield. This game is super expensive these days. Cart Bradfield, what a name. This game, it really pulls like a, uh, like a Donkey Kong 94, where you think it's gonna be just like all the other elevator action game. Or, like the original elevator action, but then it's completely different. It's kind of neat. I'm sure there's plenty of good <laughs> Saturn porno games. I don't know if I have them on here. There, there's a lot of stuff on that list. I'm sure that I have some on here, but I have no idea. Yeah, so you can tell that it's only 30 frames per second. I don't know why that that's happening. Oh. Is that not? Maybe not. Uh oh. Elevator actually returns. Was this was this a, a Paul Sutton pick? Because I feel like uh, no, he's still thinking about it, and I, I feel like this is too obvious. No, he, he was still thinking about it, so I just went with this to start something. I've got I've got like one forty p here. I need to get rid of the stream. I think. I was saying this game is kind of pulls a Donkey Kong 94 type thing where you think it's just going to be a typical elevator action game but then it then it changes it up mm. But I, I have not used the mode very much as of yet. <laughs> I like the guy driving there. He's just like, mm. in his in his body armor. <laughs> Henry Clark's wife is watching another Twilight movie. I just watched the. Uh, I don't know if anybody in in the chat is a fan of the of, of uh, the Cosmonaut Variety Hour YouTube show YouTube channel, uh, but I I really like it. Uh, I, I like his movie reviews, and I think that a lot of it is because uh, his voice and the way that he speaks is very similar to an old friend of mine from Buffalo. Hmm. So I think that, I mean, I've been, been watching him for a little while now, but he's, uh, he just, he, he really blew up in the last year where he just passed a million subscribers, but it, he was able to do it pretty quick.
Uh, but he did <laughs> a like a, videos of him watching several of the Twilight movies. And it was very, it was pretty funny. <laughs> Random hats uh, return this winter, maybe. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, Super oh, Citrus. Well. Yeah, yeah. Cosmonauts is, I mean, I I really enjoy it. I think that I first discovered his stuff and was and spent a lot of time watching it when I was editing the the M2 documentary. But just the way that he talks, I just like his delivery sounds like an old friend from Buffalo. I, it almost sounds like I'm just like watching a YouTube channel of him. But he does he does some game reviews as well. But I, I I don't know. I very rarely watch reviews of new stuff online, so uh, so maybe that's why nobody watches <laughs> watches our videos on on new games either <laughs> i just they're just returning my favor the, the, uh, the favor i guess yeah it'd be nice if people watched that <laughs> yeah well it's okay i can understand i can understand too. Is there a way to do this faster, you think? Oh, okay. I'll, I will do... Are you... Mass destruction. Okay. I Sorry, I missed the Princess Crown, but I, I can do... I'll do mass destruction. I thought that was like a, a light gun game. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing Princess Crown at some point. Let's see if this works. Oh, did you do... How did you do that? You just hold down all through A, B, and C and press start to oh. reset it. Um, The game volume is pretty low. I can turn up a little bit. It's not like the, that game is very loud, though, anyways. Uh, I'll do... So, Maximum Destruction, is that a, is that a U.S. game? For some reason, I thought Mass Destruction was a light gun game, but maybe not. We have to run over people whenever possible. Sounds like sounds like my kind of game. Whenever possible. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Sadly, Corey did not beat Clock. No, I thought it, since I had the mode in here, I'd... He, he rage quit on a bus. I didn't really wait. I mean, I did, but I... It, it wasn't me. It was a little Nitro talking, okay? <laughs> Down there in the your little belly. Nitro made me do it. I've never played this. I'm just going to put my initials as... Oh, do that. It says it's all little Nitro. I, I do not know what to expect from this. Come on! What's wrong, Sandy? What's you being a fussy butt? Do I want to use the uh, the Cobra, the Viper, or the Cheetah? Let's, let's start with the uh, let's start with the the Viper. You need to go poop, Sandy. <laughs> you need to poop. 
Would you be fussy about it? Pooping's the only acceptable answer. <laughs> Let's go poop. All right. Oh, this kind of makes me think of. I was expecting something like uh, return fire. So I got to run over civilians whenever possible. I've never played this. I've never even seen this before. Is this is this a, it's a hidden gem? I don't know, it looks like it could be inspired by Blast Core, maybe a little bit. I'll try left. You didn't even tell me. Oh, I was almost to the end anyways. Oh. Well, now I feel silly. That was, if I was that close. Those guys I got to run over? Those explosions. The sound effect is, is too loud, so it's causing some distortion. But it's probably on purpose. Uh, in terms of in terms of the mode, I'll be doing a, a quick video on that when I get back from my trip to uh, to my mom's. Next Sunday, I'm driving down. Uh, my mom is having knee replacement surgery, so I'm going to spend a week down there. So I will not be on the stream next week because I'll be uh, probably in a hotel having. A, I mean, I could, I might be able to pop in, but it depends. But I'm driving down. About a 15 hour drive. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I assume I'm just supposed to be destroying everything, right? I don't know what my my mission is. Uh, but I'll do a video on the mode pretty quickly after getting back. I mean, there's there's a lot of other videos out right now. So, I mean, most people probably know whether or not they want it. <laughs> uh, I, I'm working currently on the, like the EverDrive and SDS or S, FX Pro Pack, FX Pack Pro uh, update video, which will be out really quickly after I get back, probably. I'm, I'm gonna try to finish it before I go so I can just like upload it. And then we'll, up, we'll release. Oh, okay, if I go to this, right. Okay, destroy water reserves for three small village, all three small village. Got it. Okay. Look at that. Sorry you guys aren't getting to see how smooth this is. I mean, this definitely runs at 60 frames. Oh, I see. I see him on the map. So I'm, I'm going down there. I'll be doing a number of different things, but uh, in my free time, I'm fine. I'm going to be really digging into and trying to edit that electronic gaming monthly documentary I've been sitting on for way too long. That is going to be my 
my free time because I mean after my mom has the surgery she's not gonna be able to go a lot of places so I'm just gonna and we and we shouldn't be going a lot of places anywhere so anyways I mean my mom is 71 Go get it. But I've been I've been sitting on that EGM stuff for way too long. It's and it's and it's unfortunate that it's taken me so long because it's it's really awesome stuff. And I'm really excited. I mean, we'll see how it comes out. I think that it's going to be a documentary in the same way that like the Tom Du Bois episode was a documentary, where it's more of just like it's not like a standalone uh, with its own style, I guess. It's right, gonna, it's, and it's, but it will have more people. Oh yeah, I mean, we shot like I think it has like like six interviews, if not more. Those are good explosions. Yeah. We got two dollars from. from for the love of the game, saying, whoa, look at the transparency. Saturn wins, baby. <laughs> what transparencies? I don't know. Explosions look very cool in this game. They're very smooth. Yeah. And you're only seeing it at, the, at 30. The frame 30 frames. That's definitely 60. That's cool. You need to bring your toys back. My dad is is coming to pick up Sandy tomorrow morning because I, I decide that that uh, I got a I got a crunch on this IPS this week. <laughs> uh, this IPS video, uh, so I didn't want Sandy to be too too bored and ignored. <laughs> When do you anticipate it releasing? I mean, I, I'm just, I mean, anything could happen, but I am just so determined to get it out next weekend. I mean, I, I will feel defeated if I do not get it out next week. You know, it just, it took way too long to really get going on it because like once I like had the, on camera portion shot like I was all ready to go and I started get, getting going on editing it and then you know I just I had internet problems I had like a million different appointments I had air conditioning problems like every everything went wrong <laughs> so it's taken way longer than it should have and it's like I, I'm just I'm definitely ready to be done with it <laughs> I'm, I, I, I thought this would be like a light and easy and fun, like interim project to like take a break from analog frontiers. But like, I guess, you know, just, you know, to have a little palate cleanser, you know, do something a little different. But now, like, I feel like it's had the same effect, but in a different way, because now like editing this has kind of just made me like, oh, I miss <laughs> analog frontiers. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my hope is to, to finish the the ever drives. I mean, the 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 script is like <laughs> I thought it was going to be I was curious to see uh as it's been like what it was a 4 years since the the first ever drive video to see if this new one would be covering less ever drives but still be longer and I think it's going to be. Even though it's it's not too of crazy. Of course it is. But I mean, I mean um, least... most of that uh, length comes from the uh, the Mega EverDrive Pro. Yeah, well, at least the uh, the Game Boy IPS video is not longer than the Game Boy RGB video because that yeah. was an hour. That was over an hour long. <laughs> It's going to be about 38 minutes. So it's it's like the length of Analog Frontiers Part 2. 
I mean, part of what's so difficult too about it is like, there's a lot of like very specific issues I need to show. And like, it's, it's difficult like to capture that correctly off of an LC LCD screen. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I have to do what I can to like minimize the more patterns and stuff like that. So that it's like clear what I, as clear as it can be what I'm trying to show. And I think like half the people are going to be like, whoa, I literally can't see it. Or, you know, you're way too picky or something like that. But. Yeah, it uh, it's gonna be interesting because I feel like no one has really talked about these IPS screens in the way that I'm that I am. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see the reaction to it. Um, How do I get do in? Do any of the options beat the original? I mean, it depends on what you mean by original. I mean, you know, the original, original, I mean, the original Game Boy LCD screen ain't too good. Um, but it is, you know, nostalgic for what it is. You know, I, you know, I enjoy using, using it every now and then, you know, just cause that is the original, but you know, in terms of whether it beats like the AGS 101 screen in some regards, yes. And in others, no. It's it's kind of it's kind of a complicated oh. thing. Um, I mean, you know, I think something important to keep in mind is, you know, these, you know, no one is like making these screens just for this or anything like that. They're just kind of repurposed screens, you know. I mean, if people were making them just for this, then they would be you know, the exact size and exact resolution, but you know, you actually rotate them, you know, they go in like the Game Boy, like vertically, but the picture is turned, which as I understand it, you know, they have, you have to have a frame buffer to rotate the image in that way. Therefore there's at least one frame of lag, but that's not a huge issue to me. It might be for some people, but I have I have other issues. Uh, I see that. Uh, uh, weren't you gonna play Princess Crown? I can. I, I feel like it's more of an RPG, but I guess I, let's see what happens. I don't. I don't. I mean, I thought it might be more of an action game like Odin Sphere. Well, let's try it out. I mean, it's probably got a lot of story and stuff, but maybe you can skip it. If not, then just play something else. Let's see if this is going to work. I don't think the game has two discs, but maybe it is. Uh, Princess Crown did not get a, a release outside Japan. Yeah, so this is the. I, I don't know if there's a fan translation. There, there probably is. I saw that. Uh, oh, this doesn't look like English at all. Maybe I need to choose disc two. You can carry the cat. Oh, just like you can in Node Sphere. That's probably where it all comes from. I don't know. Maybe I need to choose disc two during that part. So let's see if what happens if I choose disc two. Uh, uh, dollar nine nine from Gaming Blows asking, "What do you think of Mr. Bones?" Mr. Bones, look at the I bones. Any, I don't. I don't. I don't. I. I have never thought about Mr. Bones. I'll try disc two to see what this does. Right. I. I mean, I could figure out figure my way through it. See what this does. 
I just wanted to do it because they had the uh, English translation, but if it's not going to work, no, what the heck. Maybe this part is not translated, but it seems like this would be translated. Uh, okay, it says... Yeah, I thought it, I think it's a a Windows game. Uh, I can I can do I can check out Mr. Bones. Pepsi Man is Pepsi Man only on PS One or is that on Saturn Two? Ah, uh, I don't know. I I I thought it was was on, on the Saturn. This wizard saying like, look at my beard. Mm -hmm. You can't tell I'm talking except for it slightly moves. I'm going to use my magic on this demon. <laughs> Oh, did you see the face he made when he got hit there? Oh, there she is. It's the princess crown. Like, the sprites are almost half the screen. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a, it's a vanillaware game. Oh, Pepsi Man is only on the PS1. I don't know why. Oh, what? One, oh, I was going to say one years later. Uh, so when I'm driving on the Florida, I'm going to be dropping off two PVMs with uh, with uh, Steve from RetroTech. And he's going to be putting a new screen in my in this 14L5 that I got a couple of years ago, but it has burn in from being uh, a security monitor. But he, he, he has an extra tube for it that he's going to put in and replace it. And I wasn't going to, but I was going I think I'm going to bring my 20L5 down just for a, uh, a tune-up and a recap. And then, you know, he's, I can drop that off on my way down and I'll pick it up on the way back. Uh, we use a bunch of different capture devices. The one I'm using right now is the the, the StarTech PEX HD Cap 60L. It's an internal card, but there is a USB 3 version of it that is a bit a bit cheaper and enjoys some nice features and has plenty of inputs and stuff on it. The thing I like is that it it accepts all kinds of weird trans, uh, uh, resolutions. Yeah, but I mean, maybe they, I don't know, maybe it was some big company, but you can see the the, the times in the corner and uh, see where it divided all the different cameras. It was like multiple cameras. So maybe it needed like the higher resolution. Um, I mean, I, you know, I'm honestly not a capture card expert, but I mean, internal cards... I mean, if you can do it, why not? I guess unless you need it, need the option for it to go from unit to unit. Um, I mean, I don't know if there's like limitations with like 4K 60 capture over USB. I mean, 1080p 60 capture is no problem whatsoever with USB. And also, and then the second day driving down there is I'm going to be uh, meeting up with uh, in the chat is with a. Uh, with Henry Clark, who's in the chat, and he has a a stack of old game fan magazines I'm going to be purchasing from him. Oh. So I'm making a couple of stops on my way down. I'm, make, I'm making this 15-hour this drive count. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad you couldn't stop here. I mean, it's, it's sort of on the way, but not really. <laughs> yeah, well, that would add several hours, I think, to it, because it's... Yeah. If I was going to stop there, I wouldn't be able to go to Nashville. Yeah. And drop that off with 
with uh with Steve. Yeah, that's that's it's pretty pretty important to take your opportunity to get that done. Yeah, I'm just gonna back out of here. Uh, what am I gonna listen to on the drive? I've thought a lot about that. Um, I was thinking about getting some audiobooks, maybe, but I'm not sure. Okay, bulk slash. Okay. One of the main things that I wish that the mode had was an option for a 240p menu screen. It's it's forced 480i. Mm. Like that, and I hope that it's eventually they they eventually make it so that you can transfer games from an SD card to the uh, to an SSD. You know, if you just like copy it, like something onto the SD card, you can move it onto the internal storage and that way i could have a uh, extension for um the sd card i wonder if the reason that it's 480i is because if it was in a dreamcast like you know if someone was using it connected oh to mr bones i got i gotta i gotta, I gotta do mr bones first 240p you know i mean does the menu look any different if you have it in a dreamcast uh i mean it has different options yeah I'll do Mr. Bones first. I, pro I promise gaming blows I'd do Mr. Bones. Oh, I gotta retitle that. This game is on two discs because it has so many uh so many so much music. I think it's all Red Book audio too. Man, my stream keeps going back to bad quality for some reason. Mr. Bones, look at the bones. Oh, <laughs> uh, Joshua Helmicky has two dollars saying, uh, certain four meg hack, please. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I'll do that next and I'll do bulk slash. Oh. <laughs> For the love of the game with two dollars, welcome to the bone zone. Oh, okay. I don't know anything about Mr. Bones. It's, I think every level is plays differently. Oh, Gerald Tan wants three dirty dwarves. Mm, I'm a big fan of, of it. So are you playing or is this? A demo? No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm moving them. Is it? Is it auto runner? Yeah, right now it is. Is it? Is it FMV? Yes. Huh. I've lost my arm. It it does not look great. Like. I'm into the idea of a platformer where your character is a generic skeleton. <laughs> Named Mr. Bones. Yeah, but like, why Why on earth would you make a... You know, every level is different. scrolling game FMV. Like, there's just no need for it. Well, they were... They wanted to use the ability of the CD at the I time. I guess... The only good thing about this is the jokes and the music. I mean, I feel like the only reason you would make an FMV platform game is if you didn't have any confidence in your ability to optimize the game well. Well, I mean, you're making a game called Mr. Bones. Okay? I mean, I think that the only option at that point is to make an FMV game where the first level is a automatic running game. I mean, is the, you say the first level, but do we know if the whole game is this? No, I'm pretty sure that every level is different. 
Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, maybe a variety game, perhaps I could get behind. Yeah. It's just it's way it's 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 already way too long though. I'll tell you that. A dollar ninety nine from Chris Theron. Thank you. Saying donation because I love cemetery. It can be fun game. Oh, geez. Look at it. See? Oh, I died. Maybe you're supposed to die. Maybe you are. Oh, look at him. Mr. Bo Mr. Bones dead. Is died. Is dead. <laughs> Mr. Bones is dead. Well, you can choose level. Okay, so look at Grave Escape is, is the first level. I'm going to give it another shot. <laughs> you can't die in a cemetery for, unless you're already dead. It's like, it's like saying you can't fire me because I quit. Wait, are those like all the levels in the game? Yeah. That's like a lot. <laughs> That's two discs. Uh, I will try. I will play Tri Rush Depi after uh, after the Castlevania hack. Tri Rush, and then I'll do Bulk Slash. Tri Rush Depi, the one where you play as like a taxi cab, huh. a bipedal taxi cab, a bipedal taxi cab. Yeah. Oh, that, now that I'll have to see. I mean, it's better than Mr. Bones. I like that his his health, his life bar is just the name is is just his name. Bones. Yeah. Is this game a Saturn exclusive? Yeah. Well, they should, they should bring it back. I'll tell you that. I'm going to look up uh, the manual for Mr. Bone so we can get the backstory here. Let's see. Oh, man, the cover of this game is great. He's holding a guitar. I know. I know it. Let's see. Can I pick up my... Oh, I can use, use the A button to pick up. Oh. I can do something. Bone Voyage. The immortal Dagulian has discovered a means to animate the dead. Skeletism. Oof. An army of skeletons, eyes glowing red, is about to rise and lay waste to the world. Only one skeleton stands in the way. Blue-eyed Mr. Bones. Now Mr. Bones will take you on a wild, calcium-rich adventure. <laughs> Is that what it says? Grueling, mind-twisting test. Does it actually say calcium-rich adventure? On the Saturn. Huh? Does it actually say calcium-rich adventure? It actually says a wild, calcium-rich adventure. Wow. In your race to stop the Ghoulian, you'll be chased by runaway logs. You'll work. <laughs> you'll walk on. Thin Gosh, that ice. sounds compelling. <laughs> you'll walk on thin ice. I can't beat. I mean, I can't. Look at and him. you'll and you'll learn to play guitar. You'll even perform a set at the Army of Darkness Comedy Club. Ah. Oh. What you're about to experience will have you jumping out of your skin. So grab your clavicles and get ready. I mean, how much longer was that level? So what's I mean, interesting... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it sit at the title screen for a minute just so we can see some other levels. What's interesting is that they consistently 
I see it on the title screen there. But like on uh like consistently throughout this manual they're calling him Mr. Bones with a lowercase MR. Yes. Which is not proper in any way to my knowledge. All right. Well, I'm, I'm I've gonna... never seen it done that way and be considered correct. I'm just I'm just moving on. <laughs> I felt I've I felt my stomach kind of gurgle a little bit here and there. I'm not gonna lie. I, I feel I feel better after I went to the bathroom. <laughs> I actually had to go twice. Uh, I, I, I went again. Two discs on here. Some uh, games that reads it is two discs. I, 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 feel, I, feel, I feel fine now. I feel fine. Uh, so so what do we? Which do you prefer, mode or uh, the Rhea and Phoebe? Um, I mean, obviously the mode has more options. Is the newest and most advanced. Yeah. And I don't know if, like, are the Rian Phoebe even, like, supported at this point? Uh, I don't think there has been a firmware update in, in a while. Oop. Yeah, the old Konami logo. You know what's what's funny in retrospect? I remember the first time I saw the new Konami logo. I think it was with uh, Lament of Innocence. I want to say might have been the first game that I got that had it. And I just remember thinking like, what was this like super corporate looking logo? Like it's no <laughs> fun at all. Yeah. Like, it's like Konami is ashamed to be a video game company. <laughs> and wow. <laughs> Will you do me a favor? And people are asking uh, what this adds. Will you go on, on and check out the post that Smoke Monster made on Retro RGB about it? And he has oh, all those things. Or is it, was it this week or? No, no, no. This was like, this was like back in, I want to say it was like in May. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was. I think I think it came out around uh, Memorial Day. All right, let's see. You can see it's not been fixed because you can see the railing. Right. That's like that's like the the greatest example of mismatched resolutions right there. Uh, this version is optimized on the basis of the Japanese version. If you want to run on a non-Japanese version, has blah blah blah. This version is only optimized for reading the disc. The sound, picture, operation, and contents are the same as blah blah blah. blah. This requires 32 megabit cartridge. Um, a lot of this list, I'm not sure if it's actually that big of a deal. These, these might be more like a, a version update post. Or, I don't know, I'm confused. Disc reading slowdowns improved by preloading data to the 4 meg uh, RAM card. CD file layout is optimized, several other fixes and improvements such as smoother character animations, the ability to skip cutscenes, and more.
So it's too bad that they don't. But I mean, there's nothing you can do about without literally redrawing the whole game. Right. Yeah. Or just. I mean, yeah. I just. It's Is unfortunate. It... But... Has there ever been a Castlevania game where, where you? I just paused this. Uh, well, doesn't certainly doesn't improve the slowdown here. <clears throat> Rita, save your strength. Or give you strength. I don't remember what she says. Uh, has there ever been a Castlevania game where you, if you have the boomerang, if you catch the boomerang, you get you get the heart back? I, don't, for I some feel like there is, but like I feel like I've, like I know what you're saying. Like I feel like I've experienced this before, and yet every time I play a Castlevania game, I'm like, was this the one? Was this the one? And now yeah. I doubt if there ever was one because it never happened. Yeah, maybe it's one of those like like the I mean, like the Mandela effect or whatever cuz I cuz I recall this being a thing as in some game too. Tanuki Champion says that's Mega Man actually. You press B plus R it'll re it will load it. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's Learn like a, what? you can make it so that you can you don't have to go into the menu to uh, look at the map. You can hold on B and press the R button. Was that oh. added? I assume the menu is still 480i. Yeah. I just grant grant him your strength. Okay. I'm doing very poor, even though it's impossible to die at the beginning here. Okay, so it's <laughs> minuscule. <laughs> What's your favorite Castlevania line? I mean, I think that my my favorite Castle line, Castlevania line is probably... I'm interested in this. That is pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's like that's my impression of Alucard, and now I can I can tie my impression of Alucard to the uh, narrator. In Tenchu, because I didn't realize until I played that on stream, and someone said, "Hey, you're," or that he's the uh, it's the same voice actor. When did you play Tenchu? I, I was just talking about it for some reason. Oh. Okay. Because the 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 voice the narrator in Tenchu is like Lord Goda <laughs> has sent you to <laughs> capture Echigoya. I remember you talking about that now. <laughs> so cool. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan of the first Tenchu. I I was disappointed by the the second one, but I uh, understand that the third one is. A return to form. Is the third one on PlayStation? It's not. It's on PS2. Wrath of Heaven, I think it's called. Okay. All right. Well, 
Well, you know, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna continue with this. Okay. Oh, you're so close to a save point. That's okay. I have I have a save already. Uh, it's on my uh, cartridge. Oh. Oh, this one does not allow you to use the uh, the soft reset. Lord go No, I mean th this was uh, Ron or, or Symphony was definitely not like a planned thing when they originally made Rondo of Blood. Uh I mean it was it was very much kind of an experimental offshoot from what I understand it, it you know they had no idea if it would be well received or not. Yeah, I need to be more educated on what the Saturn transparency situation is. Oh, low scoreboard did like a, a video. Is it a two D feature that it can where it can do transparency, and when doing two D graphics or? I think that I I linked to one of his videos in the beginning of the RGB episode. Be excited. Please be excited. <laughs> I might have to go uh, get some water. Try right. Rush Deppy. Yeah. I have to go get some water here. I, I feel like that, that should be a new nickname for me is Try Rush. Yeah. It's he should. <laughs> Some people seem confused by how my name ended up being Mark on this stream for some reason. Oh. Was it, I guess just changing it from Smoke Monster, you just... No, 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 no. It's from the uh, the uh, thing we did last week. From the panel. I probably wrote it in there. And before oh. I was trying to figure out how to do... There we go. I have to hit start. I can't just hit the button and choose it. Gotta be, gotta be a little more professional. Use real names for panels. Oh, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Did, did we? Did we talk about that last week at all? I guess maybe a little. Oh yeah, There's, actually, you, we go ahead and do. I'm gonna fill up my water, and then you wanna explain? Because people, because uh, yeah, people can watch our panels from. Correct. Right. Let me see if I can pull the link. Let's see here. Um, here we go. Um, here, if how do I how do I copy? Oh, I copy the viewful playlist. How do I, can I, if I just copy this, is that the playlist? Yeah. So if anyone wants to see the uh, panels that we did. I'm posting them in the chat. The our bonus con our bonus material playlist. Like this is a lot of it. A lot of the stuff on this playlist is stuff that had been uh, exclusive to Patreons. Like we decide like after, like they're just you know quick, low production time videos that. Uh, were Patreon exclusive. And then like after several months, we released them, but the panels we did for the long Island retro gaming expo uplink remote convention. Um, uh, you can view the one that me and Corey did by ourselves. And uh, also the one that we did with John Lundeman. And they were a lot of fun. I, I thought that turned out to be a really nice event. 
and it was uh, super fun having John on. Uh, so we're being part of a, a convention panel with him. Never gotten to do that before. Uh, you probably didn't see a notification because they're unlisted. We don't like that kind of like side content. We don't put on our, we don't, we put them in public playlists, but the videos themselves are unlisted because we don't want them like to dilute our main video listings. You know, we only want like edited content in there. I don't know uh i don't know much about the psp versions of suikoden one and two of course you can just play the ps1 classic versions on psp or vita looks amazing on vita uh yeah we did take q a from the audience most of the panel that was just me and corey was q a um but um uh um um uh with john we 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 just had such a good discussion that we only did a little q and a at the very very end all right i'm um, back you know something that i think you would be really good at ga gaming blows i mean i don't know maybe i could do it but i feel like you might be better at it Asking, can you do Austin Powers as Yoda? <laughs> um, gosh, I'd have to like write out something and say, <clears throat> yes, yeah, yes, baby, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I like I saw the first two Austin Powers movies mm -hmm. like back when they were new, and I never saw the third one until, uh, like, I I think it, it was on <laughs> Netflix or something. I was like, you know, I should just finally watch that, and like, I didn't think it was great or anything, but like <laughs> the opening of it, like just had me die do you remember the opening the what do you remember the opening of the third movie um well like it's supposed to be like the opening to the movie but then like oh yeah 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 but with, with tom cruise and... and tom cruise yeah and then yeah right like danny devito as mini me yes i only saw the the third one one time uh the opening was pretty amazing but i mean, I mean you know I mean, for me, the the first one was is uh, amazing. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but very much is typical that I found of of most uh, Mike Myers sequels. Is it tends to like recycle the same jokes a lot, and mm. that's that's why I felt that, yeah, I that remember... two and three really did a lot. I think I've seen both Wayne's World movies and didn't both of them have like the whole like overdone like sponsored Yeah. Yeah, segment. I mean exactly. That's Oh. That's like the literally the only things I remember about those movies. <laughs> was those segments. Uh also there was uh $5 from Chris. Thank you. Saying sup guys, how you doing? Just beat Mirror's Edge Catalyst and man, that game is beautiful. I have it. I've never played. I got it on clearance. Yeah, I. You know, I, I remember you were like really trying to push me to get that on clearance, and I can't remember if I ever did get it or not. I don't think I did. I don't think I have it. But I've got the first Mirror's Edge, which I still need to play. So I, when I was upstairs, I had to have something to eat too because I mean, that that little nitro man. I like. 
like just a little bit ago. Like a, like I feel like I have like a freaking xenomorph about to burst out of my stomach. Oh geez. <laughs> because this is gonna be like freaking uh, <laughs> little nitro is gonna <laughs> burst burst forth from my in from my insides. He is feasting upon my entrails. <laughs> that was a that was a line from that was one of my favorite lines from Super Wing Commander, I think, on the 3DO. The Kilrothi would often say, "I will feast upon your entrails." This is a, a weird looking game. Yeah, you're like a taxi cab. It it kind of makes me think of like Dynamite Heady for some reason. Hmm. Like just aesthetically, maybe. <laughs> the different voices. I mean, my favorite thing is to do like, <laughs> is to do Jawa voices with my kids, and they have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> there is one, and they say it like twice. The Jawas will say in uh, in in the first Star Wars when they see them, and they're like, "They're I got turned down, so I can do it." And, I, and it's my favorite thing to like kind of whisper in my kids' ears when they they, they never know what I'm saying. And that's why I think it's funny. I'm always like, "That's a bird. That's a bird." <laughs> you know, there's this part during the 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 pod race scene in episode one, uh, <laughs> where it just it just like cuts suddenly to like two Jawas just standing yeah. there and you know the, the vehicle just dashed by and they go you <laughs> and like me and yeah. my friends yeah. like we you know we, we were those guys that went to like the prequels a million times in theater and like I mean we I went three times like, because I, I thought you know I, I need to reseed this again because I can't believe that it's as bad as it is <laughs> I'm as disappointed as I am no, I mean, we were way into it. We were way... I mean, I, I feel like we were, like, kind of the right age for it, you know? Yeah. I mean, we were, like... Would it have been, like, early-ish high school, you know? But, uh, we... Uh... Hijacker. We would just like start like laughing and anticipation of, of those Jawas like uncontrollably. <laughs> like we just could like barely hold it back. We were like so excited to, for the UTD. <laughs> so ready for it. Oh, oh, I can't I can't do that very well. But that was always my favorite thing to do is like and I can also use that like the that little voice to do uh i can sometimes do a uh, yoshi voice with that mm. that same way because it's, it's very similar yoshi yoshi you know it's like a weirdness oh man ha! it's been so ha! long since i've seen episode one i don't know if i can do a good wado but for the love of the game has a has a as a two dollar donation here. Let's let's. let's it was been a long time, so I, I have no idea how this is gonna come out. Two dollars, but your two dollars no good here. I need something more real. <laughs> we need something more real. <laughs> 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 Apparently that was good. At least in yeah, so I, I, I I was impressed. <laughs> I need. Do you need something more real? To say? <laughs> I need something more real. <laughs> do you need? Do you need a squirrel? Do you need to chase a squirrel? Pew. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Jedi mind tricks no work on me. Only money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, your best chewy. You know, I've known some people who are do a super good chewy. Yeah. Can you do a good chewy? No, I can't no, do no. Chewy. That's that's like this is a sound. That's this is a sound effect. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. Uh, Chris has two dollars saying Sandy hates uh, tr Trotto. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, she, she likes it when I do voices and laugh and stuff. She thinks that she thinks it means it's time for for excitement. Yeah, time for play time. Well, it is. Time for play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready? Ready? <laughs> is that what you do? You make the sound effects every time too. Yeah, well, you have to, like, if you don't put your heart into it, like, she's just like, what was that? Like. I can appreciate like, that. Like, if you just, like, half-heartedly, like, throw a toy, she's just like, huh? And then she'll, oh. like, she'll still be, you know, begging for you to do something exciting and fun. But you, if, if you make it exciting, the sound effects, Yeah. Ooh. Oh no! <sighs> oh no! No! All right, we'll play some else. We'll play Bulk Slash finally. There's some requests for Bulk Slash. Play what? Bulk Bulk Slash. So it doesn't work on there either. No, that's not true. That's impossible. <laughs> and, and invaders like, does this look like the face of somebody be lying to you right now? <laughs> Oh, somebody, somebody go ahead and kick that ninja mods out of here. Uh, ninja mods, hope you, st hope you stick around for bulk slash though. <laughs> Saturn Bomberman fight. Japan and Saturn exclusive plays on isometric field. Aren't there several Saturn Bomber? I mean, you know, there's the game that everyone calls Saturn Bomberman, but there are actually several Saturn Bombermans, I think, right? Yeah. Oh. Well, this is <laughs> a little more complicated controls than I was expecting. <laughs> Yeah, twenty dollar donation. Twenty dollar donation from Exile. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, glad I caught the stream, but late as usual. Sunday nights are busy getting ready for the upcoming work week, but I always try and catch the stream. Thank you for all the content. And can't wait for future videos. Well, thank you. I'm I'm doing everything I can to get this Game Boy IPS screen mod video out some for some time next weekend. You know, I'm going to need to, something I've realized I'm probably going to have to do is like, you know how when you upload and, you know, it, it finishes processing oh. 1080p 60, but there's still like another tier, like a hidden tier of quality, you know? Um, Like, I feel like this video has to wait for that before releasing because it's just like all of the you know, the, the pattern of the LCD screens and stuff is just going to look so bad if it's not like the best quality, you know? Well, I mean, I don't think it really, I mean, it, it, it might, but I mean, 
the majority of the people that are going to watch are going to be watching on their phones anyways. Yeah, but there's already going to be so many people saying like, oh, I can't see what you're talking about. Like, I feel like all those people that say they can't see the difference of dithering and no dithering, like, like even if you're watching on your phone, I feel like it, it should be visible, but I, I, I can't remember if I've actually checked. I've I've never played this, and it's it's very much like virtual on, but like looks kind of like cool. A, yeah, I like that you can turn into a plane like Robotech style. Yeah, well, this looks like something I'd be into. Is this the a Japanese? Music's kind of awesome. Yeah, Japanese only. I wonder if it's expensive. I bet it is. Uh, the music is kind of awesome, but like in a funny way. Actually, no. It's now. It's now. It's awesome. You gotta use the, uh, the top buttons to turn. That's pretty neat, I gotta say. Ooh, I bet you when I do that, I bet you that's my bulk slash. The bulk slash move. Mm. I'm just guessing. Right there, but... Like th this this building layout, you know, just these rectangles are, you know, kind of perfect for the Saturn's 3D, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. We got a $5 donation. Oh, from... in this area. Play oh. In the Hunt, the Metal Slug submarine game. If not, got Burning Rangers to try. I don't, you know, I can't remember if I've ever seen Burning Rangers in action. Yeah. It's a, it's a pretty cool game, but it is, it always felt like it just was too ambitious for the system. Well, that, that like kind of, that beam that like kind of stuck to him, that looks kind like kind of, kind of like a Ghostbusters beam. This game does look pretty awesome. I'm, I'm gonna look it up on eBay. Hi, Craig Watton says, I know you haven't been too frequent here. Life's been crazy. I lost one. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I lost one of my best friends last month, so now I'm gonna be okay. Mm. I did miss hanging out with you guys. Well, hopefully you're doing okay. That's, I can't imagine. I'm very sorry to hear that. That's rough. Yeah, this is pretty expensive. Like, definitely over a hundred dollars. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm. You need to pick pick up your miss. Where is she? many I mean there's like there's like a there's like a big more of a pale pink dot that was behind you oh look at the rockets oh 
Oh, the, the black jewel case in the hunt is pretty rare. It's pretty expensive. Corey got lucky buying it at a convention for a really good price. Yeah, right before it went up in price, I think. I think I paid some in like... Well, it might have been around the time it went up in price and maybe the seller just... Yeah, what does it go for now? Because I mean, I Didn't think know. I paid... I feel like I paid like $25 or something for it. Maybe it's the... I don't shoot for the bike and other rockets, I guess. Um, <laughs> I don't know how to find that specifically in the hunt here. Ooh, there's one for almost 200. There's a bunch of, there's more Japanese copies than American copies. Of this? No, of uh, In the Hunt. Oh. It's relatively expensive too, you know. Uh, so 70 to 80 maybe, or maybe 60 to 80. Ooh, let's see if I can get these guys. Oh, there's uh, 50 pesos from uh, Carlos Zuniga. Thank you. Thank you. Best regards for the land of God, Artemio Urbino. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we uh, we are grateful for your blessings. Thank you. Uh, our our team has been doing a lot of streaming lately with his with his friend. Oh, I haven't actually seen that. Yeah. And the it's uh, I think the he called it the the Artemio Hall show sometimes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I I I just I cannot express enough how grateful I am that that we were able to have that opportunity to get Artemio and Analog Frontiers. I mean this game is totally cool. I wish that I was just better at it, but this is I'm doing my best. Yeah, it's pretty awesome looking. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna play. I, do you do you want me to play uh, Burning Rangers or In the Hunt? Yeah, well, I want to see it. Burning Rangers. I, can't, I just can't remember if I've seen it in action before. We'll do it. We'll do it then. All right. Let's sit back and get comfortable again. That's right. Artemio is one of the most well-respected, most one of the most respected people in Mexico. I mean, really, the whole universe, but... <laughs> I've never listened to the album. This is a long drive for someone with nothing to think about. Nah, I should listen to it on my long drive. Well, we'll we'll see about that. I still think about the time a few years ago, uh, Got it. whatever convention it was that we were going to. It was probably too many games going to going to Dave's house. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't believe that the Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn soundtrack lasted, like, nearly that entire drive. Uh, as one beefy soundtrack. <laughs> I, I love that you, you can be either either, either show Amabane or Tillis. <laughs> she doesn't have a last name. It's just her name is Tillis. I think... Just one name. Yep. That's all you need to know. 
Oh, you know who my favorite Sega character is? Tillis. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you through the basics. Mastering these techniques are critical to becoming a ranger. I'm Chris Parton. Voice down. Oh, it's, it's Chris Parton. For this exercise. Chris always monitors the our situation voice navigation and provides us with do. updates. Make sure you listen to her carefully because it may save your life. The voice acting the in this is pretty call funny. Button when you are lost, and I'll try to help you out. It's in English? Yeah. Yeah, this is a, this is a US release. Oh, I didn't know. I thought it was generic. Yeah, it's, it's one of those games that only had 5,000 copies. Like this, uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga and Shining Force 3. Oh, look at that version 1 Saturn controller. Yeah. Interesting that they would use that with it so close to the... Quickly now. Do you see that fuel tank? There's the fuel tank. Now look to your left by pressing the L button. Now you should see a door. Use the L and the R buttons to rotate. Yeah, especially when they wouldn't have used that in Japan now at all. Begin. Oh, yeah. two dollars from Chris. He says this game also supports the three D control. It does, and it's it's a lot easier to control with the three D control. Use the D pad to move in the direction you want to go. See, can you see that gap ahead? Don't worry about I, it. Just keep running. You'll automatically. I get this game gaps. confused with. Follow there's me. some like. There's some firefighter like two D game. I can't even think of what system it's on. Super Nintendo, PlayStation. Is it you talking about? Is it the the firefighters? No, there it's called. Different types of doors. Oh yeah, maybe so. Like I get this confused with that. Just. You have free access to blue stripe doors. To open yellow. This is this the game that's like kind of a spiritual precursor to that Xbox game? Oh, Gun Valkyrie. No, I mean, yeah. the character design sometimes looks similar, but no, that's. Once they're closed. I don't remember who made. Gun Valkyrie. I mean, this, this is Sonic Team. You can only enter the door from the blue stripe side. Okay, next exercise. Tillis, I'd like to introduce you to Big Land Man. Skillful Ranger. You gotta get the blue key. <laughs> this is the 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 voice acting just said with a straight face. Tillis, I'd like you to. I'd like to introduce you to Big Land Man. <laughs> big Land Man. <laughs> That's Big Land. It's, it's Big Land Man. Big Land Man. I, sounds sounds like a good Metal Gear boss. Yeah. Big Land Man. Big Land Man. Big Land Man. Big Land Man. He's gonna, big land man showing me how to jump. This is Rent a Hero in 3D. I, I, I've looked up a little bit about that game before, but I don't now remember, and hold the camera button remember and use the what I learned about it. it. Yeah, you gotta use the camera button. There he is. Him? Oh, the, I, yeah, I see now Big Land Man up the there. Where big is standing. Well, we got two Canadian bucks from the NES Master saying, play Jung Rhythm? Hmm. Jung Rhythm? Jungle Rhythm? I'm not familiar with what you're talking about. Good. I think you've got it. Good. <laughs> Big land, man. I mean, this, this looks like a game that would be... Perfectly controllable now, on N64. Or, or with the dual shock. When you find a console, I don't know much about the Saturn 3D controller. <laughs> like it, Some doors can be I can't remember if I've held one before, but like the stick the doesn't look open. that great to me, but yeah. I mean, I don't want to judge. Oh, we got uh, ten dollars. Thank you from Craig Watt saying well, thanks done, for Mikey. all the positive vibes. All, all love, my brothers. On a much brighter note, okay. it would make Let's my day if you two one. yelled, "I'm bad!" Yeah. Like the two main Attention. heroes of this bad dudes. <laughs> I can't even place that. How how do they how do they say it? Really? That's like that's how you uh, when you finish a level. Where they like? I mean, I know like, you. you 
You I'm were, bad. You I'm bad. Okay. You were borrowing that arcade board when I was at your house and you were recording a bunch of arcade stuff. Uh, I don't think that was one of them. You're, th you're, you're thinking of uh, two crude dudes. Two, oh, you had two crude dudes. That's right. Yeah, which is kind of like the sequel. But he's I don't like, I, mean, I don't know if I've uh, ever played the arcade yes, version of, of Bad. Or you can do you can do it uh, NES style and go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, all right, you, you do a countdown. We'll do it. Three. Let's do it. Okay, let's go back to our training. Two. Now you'll learn how to put out fires. One. Use your pulse laser. By I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea if that came out as in sync on your end or not. The pulse Good enough. Absorbs <laughs> energy and transforms the energy into crystals. Your shield increases with each crystal you. You have to look it up now. So it's a very good idea to I can't believe you never heard that. I probably now have. Put out the I, I, I I've definitely put it in videos before. Like if I'm I ever sure, have a yeah, that sounds a little familiar. Tillis, what's up? Are you scared? So what is this game people are talking about? Jang rhythm? I don't know. Jung rhythm? I'm too busy oh. shooting my uh Tillis, you could do better than that. What? Tillis, come on. You'll be able to recognize the intensity of the fire by its Tillis, color. get it together. The red flames are weak. Generally one shot will extinguish them. But the blue flames, which you see there. Are much tougher to put out. Several shots from your pulse gun are needed to put these flames out. Oh, so it's gonna take careful. it's gonna take these several shots, several flames. shots from my pulse gun to put these to put Next, these flames let me out. Next, introduce you to the laser blast. Press and hold down the action button for a few seconds, then release the action button. Oh. This allows you to okay. discharge a very powerful blast. Which which one was the action the button again? The bottom of the screen <laughs> to monitor your charge. Release the button when the. I always is thought it was weird that. You know, the Metal Gear Solid games were built Laser to be, you know, powerful, just for remember, PS2, but, you know, so keep Commander Campbell's always like, press the blast. action button, you know? Yeah. Use the laser blast to put out the fire and but then, like, in Metal Gear Solid 2 HD, I remember, I think they revamped the swimming forget, mechanics or controls or something. Laser blast. Like, you can tell okay, let's go to the next room. when... It's a newly voiced line, like the recording environment just sounds very different. Before an explosion occurs, you'll hear a whistling sound. If you press down on the D-pad before the explosion, you will automatically avoid the blast. Vanessa Arias says, you see, you guys need the Burning Rangers to put out the heat from earlier. See, you know, they really did, because like, I I'd like almost forgot that that was even a thing that happened. Tillis, <laughs> it's your turn. Didn't they play a PC series? I don't know. Not bad at all. But I always wished he would actually say okay. what the button this was. The because they I don't think they even the show the button like as a symbol this in the, the text. Exercise. Like I think the text just says action button. Job. So if you didn't remember what was the action button, then you don't know what to do. It's pretty basic. All you know? You need to do is I think that was the main thing that bugged me. The most important thing to remember is that you need to have a Like, okay, you can say action button, but why don't you show, you know, X or triangle or whatever, okay. you know? Let's try it. Don't forget to collect the five crystals first. <laughs> At least I lasted for five minutes. I, I think I lasted for six and a half minutes. I probably could have kept on going. I just... No, I was out. I was out early on that. That was that was that was rough. That was unpleasant. Tillis, you could do better than that. Come uh, on. I, I will accept no greater challenge from Sean Quinn. Should be ready I mean, we still have the last dab to have some other time. Well, oh, yeah, that's true. I'm I'm optimistic that's not going to be too horrible. We've got an emergency signal. Burning Rangers, let's go. Roger. Tillis, you can do better than that. That's what they're always saying that to her. They're like, Tillis, you can do better than that. Oh, did the original MGS refer to the PlayStation buttons? I couldn't remember. Maybe. I know. I'm trying to get, trying to get the actual game here. Yeah, sorry. I didn't know there was a bunch of tutorial. Yeah.
Show and big, take point and contain the spread um. of fire for the rescue team. Roger. Tell Reed, proceed to the control room located underground in basement level number one. Roger. There you go. Whoa. I like almost just die there. I feel like I lost all my health. Like immediately. Press the Z button for navigation. Chris! In front of you and towards the left. Whoa. <laughs> Tillis, get going through that door. The fire is spreading faster than I thought. Tillis, be careful. Tillis. I'm here to save you. Hold <laughs> on. I tried to skip it, but it didn't I'm scared. The voice acting in this is it's Stay like calm, be fine. It's like House of the Dead tier. Oh man. Now you're making me want to play. He, the, this guy was just like I'm so scared. Transport <laughs> complete. Here's the first one. Listen for a sound before the explosion. I didn't know there was a PC version of Mega Man Legends. Watch out. I didn't know that either. You'll be able to go from there. Tell us you can do better than that. I mean It's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a, an interesting concept. And I bet that if they did a new version of this, it could be pretty cool. Especially with with two uh, analog sticks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Paul Sutton, that's always been my favorite line in, uh, in House of the Dead. It's always cracked me up. Nice work, Tillis. Nice work, Tillis. <laughs> Looks like the shutter won't budge. There should be an emergency override switch nearby. Try locating it. Tillis, Sector D-101 has an elevator leading underground. Head towards Sector D-102 where the plan site is located. Speed machine has been destroyed. I've secured this area. Oh no, the speed machine has been de destroyed. I don't know. Does this seem like the kind of game you'd be interested in? Yeah, possibly. But it's really expensive, right? Uh, probably like 300 bucks. I'm guessing at this point. Is the Japanese version just as expensive? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea what how much the Japanese version costs. I never even thought about looking at that. Tell us. Apparently, it's like five hundred. The Japanese version. Well, I'm assuming that's referring to the uh, American. Yeah. Well, I guess I've heard about prices being crazy the wrong way. since because of the the pandemic. Like retro game prices have like skyrocketed even more. Yeah, when I was at Video Game World, I thought there were a few things I was like, "Wait, this is that expensive?" And then I, you know, checked the price on eBay, and it's like, "Oh, yeah." Like, like uh, Air Guys is like fifty dollars now. And towards the right. Okay, oh, take this. Maybe that's the right. Uh, the Japanese version's like... Go up. Sixty to seventy-five. Oh, that's not bad. Passageway to the lower level is secured. I'm moving on. Roger. Enter that room. Cross that bridge and proceed through the door. Watch out! Oh no. I... Tell us. <laughs> you 
It would be really funny if they were just like really mean to Tillis all the time. Like, you can do better. Even when she does a good job, it's like, Tillis, you can do better than that. <laughs> Zero visibility due to smoke. Please direct. I'm getting no reading. Move ahead slowly. Roger. Tillis, move ahead sl slowly. Slow, slower than that. Ah, Tillis, <laughs> looks like the power has been completely shut down in that sector. There should be an emergency. <laughs> Tillis, why did you shut down the power completely in that sector? There should be a switch near you. There it is. Is that the switch? There it is. Tillis, press the switch. Tillis restores the power, but she can. Tillis, she's gonna get no thank you for for you. anybody. We'll take you underground to sector D one hundred three. Look for the elevator hallway. This is Ben. I found the elevator. Oh. Now oh, we tell us tell us dead. Okay. Well, I, I guess we'll play this this Jung rhythm. I don't really know what to expect. Finish it up with that. Yeah, Tillis. What are you doing, Tillis? Hold on a second, let me hang on. We're back. Oh, Ricky Pond says, so I just want to thank you guys. I watched your SNES RGB episode and convinced me to buy SNES Junior. I'm planning on getting it mod for RGB. Uh, check the, 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 I mean, it's still several years. I mean, that's an old video, the Super Nintendo RGB video. There's like, uh, Voltar made a new... RGB board for putting inside the SNES Junior or Mini or one chip consoles that like uh, improve the RGB output from them. There's there's still no way to improve RGB from a regular Super Nintendo, but like that's definitely the best mod you can get for the the Mini right now. And you can also replace a capacitor inside Minis or uh, full size one chips. Uh, that cleans up a little bit of video noise that is visible in some specific situations. I think, did you talk about that capacitor replacement in uh, in that Super Nintendo? Yeah, and in the update, update I think, videos? yeah. Yeah. Five dollar donation from James Boone saying, thanks for showing some love to the Saturn tonight. Best of luck to your mom this next week, Corey. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, I I hope it's everything's gonna go smoothly. I'm surprised. I, don't know what to that, expect, I guess. I'm surprised they're even doing it. But I mean, I mean, yeah, it was like, already it, delayed a while, wasn't it? Yeah, she's supposed to have it done originally in April. Uh, yeah, I mean, does this have anything? Any any shared people in development for Prepper the Rapper? This game definitely has an art style. Or, or the I feel the 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 superior I'm jamming or lamming. Uh oh. If if I you know if if we get a an, uh, another cat which we've kind of been talking about, mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna propose that we name it Tillis. <laughs> <laughs> Tillis, you Come can on. do better than that. <laughs> Do you think uh, uh, Sophia would accept another cat? If we got a kitten, I feel like her motherly instincts might kick in, which mm. is something that we need. Oh. He's got his guitar.
<laughs> These character designs are sure something. Yeah. Boko Suka. Boko Suka. Tell us. <laughs> you can do better than that. <laughs> it's our first end of the job. It's like, tell us, come on. <laughs> you can do better than that. Press the action button. All right, here we go. Oh, come on. Here we go. Is this going to be the game yet? I think the game's showing at 60 frames per second now. I think it might have something to do with the way your capture card syncs up to it. Oh, come on. And OBS. I see. Oh. Is there no game volume? I can't. I can't make it. Don't do that. Yeah, I'm not a rhythm game guy, but that's mostly like just a total lack of musical aptitude on my part like i just i don't i don't understand the connection to the music that people get from rhythm games like i don't feel you know i i follow the marker and i hit the marker when i see it but i don't feel a connection to the music uh, gaming blows in at a dollar nine nine. Thank you. Saying, can you say happy birthday, Heather? <laughs> Is that what I was supposed to do? Uh, I haven't tried Rhythm Heaven, but I've I've watched friends stream it. Like it's it's definitely. That there is definitely, fun, you know, fun scenarios in those games. Uh, but, like, rhythm gameplay just is not for me. Like, I, um, I like, uh, uh Tetris Effect. I played Child of Eden last year. Uh, like I, I kind of stayed away from those Mizuguchi games because like people call them music games, but it's not about rhythm. Like you just play Tetris normally, or you just play the shooting game, like in Child of Eden normally and you, all these cool visual and sound things happen around you, but it doesn't have anything to do with rhythm. And I feel the music in those games, but this, this kind of stuff, like, they're fun to watch because they can be so goofy, stuff like this and Rhythm Heaven, but, like, for me playing them, I just, I have no, I mean, I don't, I don't think I can emphasize how musically inept I am. I think that the, the game crashed or something happened oh, did you here. Find, did you find a mode glitch? Maybe I found a mode glitch. Better report that. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's just like frozen. I can't even reset. Well, I guess that's, that's a good way to end it. <laughs>
right. Well, you're you're gonna be on your own, or you're gonna you'll have I'll have so, yes. somebody somebody with you next week. Oh, uh, I I mean I'm probably gonna have to do it for two weeks in a row, right? Uh, yeah, but I might be able to be on at least on my laptop the week after. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I'll be watching probably. You know what day you're planning to come back? Uh, yes, I come back on the first, and then I. But it's a two-day drive, so uh, I'll be back what, what on the second. The first? Uh, I think it's a Tuesday. Oh, okay. So you're only going to be there like a week. Yeah. I was going to stay a little bit longer, but no, I, I am going. I leave on the twenty-third. I get there. I'll get there on the twenty-fourth, and then I'll leave on the first, and I'll get home on the second. Okay. That's the plan, at least. So we'll see what happens. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. You're gonna play. You've already been throwing around some ideas, but we'll see. I'll be interested to see. Yeah, I've, got some ideas. I've got some ideas. <laughs> we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Uh, thanks everybody for the donations and everybody who hung out tonight. As it was a lot of fun. And I will see you in a couple weeks. And try, we'll see you next week. Yep. And y'all be very disappointed in me if by next week's stream, the IPS Game Boy video is not out. (laughs) All right. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. Good night.